Hello and welcome to Beverly Minster for this special collective worship for Christmas. We thought since it was Christmas time, it would be great to do it from the Minster itself, especially because we've got our Christmas tree festival running and you can see all the trees behind us. Now, in today's collective worship, we are going to tell you the story of Christmas, but we're going to show you some of the Christmas trees as well while we do it. So let's hear the story of Christmas. A long time ago and a long way away, a young girl called Mary was visited by an angel. And the angel had a very special message for Mary. She told her she was going to have a baby and the baby would be the son of God and very, very special. Mary and Joseph were told that they had to travel from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem to register to pay taxes. So they set out on their long journey with Mary pregnant and they traveled with a donkey. It was a very, very long way to travel. So when Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they searched for ages and ages, trying to find somewhere they could stay. Eventually, a kind innkeeper who said, I'm sorry, there's no room in the inn, but I have a stable around the back that's dry and warm and somewhere safe that you guys can be. So it was in the stable, amongst all the animals and all the hay, that Mary gave birth to a baby boy, and they called him Jesus. In the fields nearby, there were some shepherds keeping watch over their sheep. And suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and said to them, Go and see the baby who has been born in Bethlehem. And so they took their sheep and they hurried down to Bethlehem to see the newborn baby. There were wise men in the east who were astronomers who studied the stars. And one day they saw that a new star appeared in the sky, which foretold of a king who had been born. So they gathered up their things and they set out on a journey following the star until it stopped above the stable in Bethlehem. When the wise men arrived at the stable, they brought gifts fit for a king of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that's the story of how Jesus was born into our world. Not surrounded by tinsel and glitter like all these wonderful trees around us, but surrounded by the love of his parents and the worship of the wise men and the shepherds. And of course that baby grew up to be Jesus, the savior of the world, the one who brings love and hope and good news to us all.
So shall we finish with a prayer? Dear God, we thank you for Christmas. We thank you for all the joy and sparkle and Christmas trees. But most of all, we thank you for Jesus, for the baby born in the manger, who grew up to show us how to love and to bring hope to the whole world. Amen. <laughs>